And I, I, I mean, shout out to Stephen A. Man again. He did that. I, 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 I've heard some people say Malika is a feminist. I ain't all I'm gonna say is Malika. I don't know if you're a feminist, but I've seen some of your views and your takes. If you really do support and believe in equality and women should be treated fairly as much as you say you do, you should be supporting the fact that they're getting punished the same way for working in the same organization. There should be no, oh, it's not about them. It's, there should be no, oh, it's not about them being punished. It should be no, oh, let's not make this about attack. No, this is about holding people accountable. This is about a man being publicly disgraced and dismayed, lambasted all over the news and media while two people who consented with him get to walk back into work as if nothing happened. Absolutely not. We cannot say that things are fair and just if we are going to allow things like that to slide. And while I, you know, I love, you know, that black queen because she is doing her thing in media. That was out of pocket for you to cut him off on his show like that. You're not even listening with the intention to understand. You're listening with the intent to rebuttal. Those are two different things. Listening with the intent to understand where somebody's coming from and listening just so you can jump in. And I don't know, I don't want to go there and I don't want to be that guy, but I guarantee you if there was anybody else up there on that video screen, maybe like Scott Van Pelt, <laughs> you wouldn't be talking to him like that. And I'll give That's... you one reason why. I don't yeah. have to say it, But she would not be cutting him off on his show like that. Not listening to him and acute putting words in. I guarantee you, she wouldn't be doing that to somebody like Scott Van Pelt. She wouldn't. She wouldn't have been doing that to Skip Bayless. Or she wouldn't be doing it to somebody like that. But let it be Stephen A. And it's okay to over talk people on this show and accuse them of attacking. No, we not gonna do that. As my man, we are not gonna do that here. No. <laughs> Listen, man, my, my, my final thought on this, man, is Coach Ime Udaka, uh, I wish him nothing but the best. I still think he dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? You can't be out here catching L's like this, and you are, you are a millionaire, sir. Same thing I said with Tiger Woods. You are, you, 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 your network is 400 million, Trav, and you running around here smashing the babysitter, getting the babysitter pregnant, and you ain't have her sign an NDA? And then was shocked when she started snitching on 60 Minutes. Got Talking about, check. oh, Got he was looking check. at me sexually around the house while I was trying to wipe his child, while I was trying to clean up his house. He would grope against me and rub up against me. Oh, what was I supposed to do? It's your fault. And it's just like what Stephen A. say. I, I felt the same way. I remember when everything first came out, I said, yo, I hope they fire him. I hope they fire him. But as more and more details come out, I'm like, man, firing is too much. 20, 30, the game suspension? All right, that, that's that's more fitting. Get that up out yeah. of there, sweep it under the rug, keep it moving. And that's She fair. keep her job. He keeps his job. Everybody keeps working. If you want to leave the Celtics and go somewhere else, that's fine too. But this is resolved. This ends. That's it. Yeah, if we catch all again, then it's termination for both of y'all. At But – I mean, I, I can understand that it is a fair to a certain extent because with the amount of information that's coming out, it's like we have so many details of little things that are alleged, but we don't have the facts. We have him being suspended for a year, but not being fired. So what he was did was, was bad enough to be suspended for a year and separated from the team, but was not bad enough for him to leave the organization. It was bad enough for people to delete all their social media and accounts and private them, but it wasn't bad enough for anybody's name to be mentioned so we know who's responsible and we can make sure that people is not being wrongly doxxed or have their information put out there, you know? Ultimately, we want to see is we want to protect our women, our men. We want to have safe environments for people in the workplace. 
it is a tragedy to see that there is such a a, a rarity, you know, a head coach of a team who's I believe he's bounced around from a couple of other teams as well. And, you know, as a black man in his position, making the kind of money he makes, you are a unicorn. You are young, you're healthy, you're in shape, you're tall, like six, whatever. You know, you have all these ties. You're a head coach in the NBA. You got connections. You're with one of the most storied franchises. We are talking about the Boston Celtics. You are a black head coach of the Boston Celtics franchise in a similar fashion of Doc Rivers. And that's how Doc Rivers got so much notoriety for what he does coaching now. It is sad to see that you went out like that, lost your job over the juice box, man. It is sad. Ladies, gentlemen, use this as a learning experience. Understand that when it comes to your money and your livelihood of where you live and pursuing your profession, you got to have boundaries. I'm not going to say don't do it. Have boundaries. The smart thing would be save yourself the trouble. Don't take the risk. Boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Stress it. Make sure you have your NDAs. Make sure you discuss with people, this is the terms of our relationship. I don't want you going out here and putting me on blast on social media if things don't work out. I don't want you going around telling all your homegirls that we've been together and you slept over at my house last night. It's, It's crazy that we have to explain this stuff to people. This is crazy. Especially when you're making that type of money. Especially when you when you when you make when you making that man clo- close us out, Trav. Go ahead, go clo- close us out, bro. <laughs> go, go ahead, bro. Clo- close us out, bro. Uh, thank you, everyone. Again, my name is Trav. Uh, Travis, of course. Clutch Dodgers. That YouTube's gonna be getting up and running soon. We got my man Devin. Uh, OMG is Dev. We please everyone. We love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Keep in mind, no classmates, no co-workers, no neighbors. Don't do it. Boundaries. Boundaries. It, These it ain't things worth it. happen all the time. Just, you just have it. to conduct yourself properly. It's not worth losing those positions over the juice box, especially yep. when you go get it from somewhere else. The ratio of men to women is seven to one. Eme, no. And not to me along, bro. Not to me. <laughs> not to me. All right. Stay bless y'all. We appreciate y'all for checking in. Make sure you guys check out the homie OMG is dev. Twitch.tv slash KSK Darf if you need your gaming needs. My channel, Clutch Dodds, is going to be coming up soon. Twitch.tv uh, slash K, uh, KSK. Uh, well, t- Twitch.tv slash Kenneth Collada. Uh, we love y'all. Please, y'all stay safe out here, cuz. <laughs>